I need our prayers. I need our prayer warriors. Uh, I need anyone that believes in God to lay hands on my child, bring my child name up, get on your knees, and just say, take care of Kirby in Italy, because that's all I need right now. Oh. This is a heartbreaking story. That young mom asking for prayers as she continues to stay at her child's hospital bedside tonight. Four-year-old Italy Oakley was shot as a family was leaving their home on South Perkins Road. They were going out to get dinner Friday night. Yeah. Let's go to Fox 13's Kayla Solomon. She's live at Lavonne Children's Hospital. That's where Italy's mother says she's in stable condition. I guess that, you know, Kayla, at this point, we have to say thank you for the small blessings. That's right, Daryl. Now, Kirby Oakley tells me they are asking for those prayers, as you heard in that sound bite there. But another thing to mention is that they were just leaving to go get dinner from Outback Steakhouse after a good week. But what started as a good night quickly turned into five nights here at Le Bonner's Children's Hospital. And four-year-old Italy Oakley still in the hospital in stable condition. The surgeon that worked on Italy came in this morning and uh, assured me that my daughter is going to make it. Italy is just recovering very, very hard um, from the surgery. For Kirby Oakley, the last four days have been almost unbearable. Her four-year-old daughter, Italy, was shot while sitting in the back seat of a car on Friday night in what Kirby calls a road rage incident. I don't know how to, to say that I feel for all the gun violence moms. The, any mom that has dealt with gun violence, I understand your hurt and pain, especially out of nowhere, especially if you know you haven't made any wrong terms for your child. She says Italy is now in stable condition, but her lungs are in bad shape and she's on a ventilator. She also says her daughter is dealing with blood clots. I didn't fail my daughter. I was taking my daughter out to eat. And that's, that's, that's the story. Her and her father were taking her out to eat. We weren't going to go kill no one, to steal from no one, or to hurt no one. We were going to go to Alpac on Union to eat. Kirby says along with wanting her daughter to recover speedily, she wants answers as to who and why. This is not gangster. This is not what you see on TV. This is not this is not a game that you play on the Xbox. This is none of these. These are human lives. These are kids. These are, that's my baby. That's my future. Now at this time, the information that Memphis police has is that they are looking for a dark colored sedan. Kirby says they do have tinted windows. If you do have any information, you're encouraged to call the Memphis Police Department. Live in the Medical District, Kayla Solomon, Fox 13 News.